Hey there, everyone, this is Aokao. Yeah, so I just, uh... <laughs> I just got done playing Mega Man. And, uh, I really just got done playing Mega Man. Hey there, everyone, Aokao, playing Grid. I, 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 it's... Look, man, under five minutes, I feel bad. But instead of playing more Mega Man, I guess I... I don't know, it takes a minimum amount of setup. Which Wario doesn't, so we're just playing more of this, alright? Here we go. Scooter Commuter! 30 points, that's huge! Escape by jumping your scooter. The trick is... You gotta land it perfectly. Think you got the skill! This is so dramatic. This is extremely unneeded. Anyway, it's this game that, like, I've never failed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's why it's 30 points, you know, like there's this time you got to get flat. There you go and The other one you, you, you tip forward like that. Whoa, and it's never gonna vary from this. So here you go Okay, you do have to move it a little bit. I was wondering I figured you know what? Let's check it out because you know you, 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 you got already an angle and you fly off but yeah, no, it's not the base angle. Look, science is good. You gotta check things out to learn about. If you see anyone out there making ridiculous, impossible claims about this aspect or that aspect of anything, you know, numbers, space, the ocean, part of the human body, you know, like if they tell you, oh no, you shouldn't learn anything about that. There are things humanity was never mean to learn, don't learn it. But there are a fool! They should not only be ignored, but ostracized from society. They've got to live in their own little house in the middle of nowhere, like give them a pool, give them like a Labrador, something, so they're not lonely. And there you go live off the grid eating sour beans or whatever it is you want to do in your land of ignorance and so uh that that's my that's like the summary a little bit the tldr of my whoop eye of my ted talk uh i'm looking for feedback i look behind the cushions behind the like the car and the trunk of my car I just couldn't find any feedback anywhere, so I uh, figured maybe I'd ask on the internet. Like, I'd use the fact that I'm making a video on the internet that, like, at least three people will watch. Where can I find feedback? Is it in the fridge? Like, I don't want to look in the fridge. It's kind of gross in there. I was hoping, whoop, I was hoping I didn't have to. But if that's where all the feedback is stashed, like, you know, it's fine. I'll do it. I just kind of hope it's not the case, you know? There we go. We had an accident! Uh, and now we move on the bubble trouble. Clear 15. Catch the items floating in space. Oh man, get done it. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Get five. Whoa, look at that. I'm a stick lady. Floating in space. No one understands why. Just a stick woman floating in space. What's my uh, number I'm supposed to get? I forgot. Maybe, I don't know, man, because this is not a hard one. But mechanically, it's like a little complicated. You know, you gotta move around. Whoa, you see, you got four, uh, not four, two axes of movements. Whoa, you see, and like, you have to be able to interpret the depth of these spheres. Now, the background might be extremely minimalistic, but they still have just enough background that the objects cast a shadow on the ground. Uh, so you can sort of... Uh, it, and yeah, and your lady also cast a shadow, in spite of being flat image. Like, you know, you can tell that there's an attempt at, you know, sort of mimicking volume while in these spheres. Uh, not so much with Stick Lady. Well, you know, I mean... You can't be stick lady if you're not a stick lady is a thing. But, you know, that's not true. It can be a nickname. It can be a job. You know, oh shoot. I kind of messed that up. So this is getting kind of weird to control at this speed. There's something sort of unnatural going on here. I kind of dig it, but yeah, it's, it's not free. 
right? Whoa! I mean, this mini game itself is free if you purchase uh, WarioWare Inc. Micro Game. Wow, I just missed all the spot. But I mean, like you, you still pay for the game. It's just that there are micro games in it. On the box for WarioWare Micro Game Incorporated, is there like contains at least like 50 games or something? Like I feel like that's something they could pull off. You know, even though they're all like very tiny. I remember someone in the comments writing somewhere about how they expected like all the games to be like actual game games, not just little things. It's kind of funny. What was the point? 15. Easy. UFO assist. Clear 15 points. That UFO up there is you. Wow. Avoid the attack from below. Oh, it's the reverse get shot at. All right. Well, no. Well, it is get shot at. It's the reverse shoot shoot plan. Well, well, I failed immediately. I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> like, does it go after me? This is hard, and it's 15 points? Huh. Okay, so this time he shot twice. Uh, this is legit kinda hard. I don't know, maybe it's just me? Like, there's- the way that plane moves is very unnatural to me, and I- Okay, maybe it's just move all the time. Maybe my problem is that I was not moving enough. Cause like, part of my brain is like, well I don't want to move right into a shot, but waiting hasn't been working, so... Try something else, you know? It's called adapting. It's like humanity's greatest asset in terms of things it can do. Compared to a significant amount of life form on this dumb old planet we call Earth sometimes. That's right, we called our planet the ground. Aliens are gonna make fun of us once first contact is done. Like, what you call your planet for? <laughs> what, 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 then they're just gonna leave. But you know what? Point is. Wait, is that true? Um. Is that true in other language. It's it's true in French. Like, so the planet is called Tyre, and Tyre is also the word that means like Earth. Basically, literally, as in like dirt. You know, like, yeah, you're gonna bury your plants in dirt. Uh, planter ta plante dans la terre. Yeah, so dirt. In French, it's called dirt. So, other languages. Like, well, how does that situation happen? You know? I'm kind of genuinely curious. All right, well, that's what getting shot at makes me think about. Scoot or die. It's like skate or die, but it's Scoot. It's a classic video game. Right, you're Schooner. <laughs> Sounds simple, but there's a catch. You've got to avoid incoming bombs. All right, all right, finally, a human rider simulator. I mean, it even kind of looks, whoa. Okay, so you press a direction. Okay, I think there's like, three locations on the map. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you do not assume direct control of Scooter Mania. You have three sort of slots you exist on this map. And it's like, alright, well here you are. That's where you live now. Good to know, you know? Whoosh, there we go. I'm riding safe in the back. The wind and the bugs in my face. And then you just look at the giants that live on, oh boy, on the other side of the mountains, chucking their Molotov cocktails. Oh boy, okay. Uh, so I got used to a certain rate of game working at, and uh, I'm having trouble adjusting to the higher speed. That's what's happening now. All right, I'm just gonna go in the back. I love the animation of the dust clouds, though. I think they're neat. Like, they're very simple, right? Like, they're just circles. They're used well. Look at circles in your everyday life, and then, I don't know, throw with frisbee at a dog. So that it catches it and brings it back. It's super rad, super cool. Dog's gonna get some activity. You're gonna get some activity. Everyone's happy. Whoop, backing off, there we go. If you see a giant in the mountain throwing a bottle at you, just back off. Maybe uh, do a little flip. You can do a little flip if you want. If you want. You don't have to, but you can. If you want. Scooter die! Scooter die! 
We got two more games to do, and this one's called Zero to Hero. It's a, it's a, stu it's, it's a log game, except it took me forever to find it. Are you a hero or what? Concentrate and transform. Press button. No, yeah, it's, I, there's, this game keeps showing up. Whoa, Henchan, go. Do that 20 times. Look, man, it's just, it is physically impossible to get excited about this game. It just keeps showing. Also, I think there's a Wario version, maybe? Oh, uh, now you're a pig! With floppy ears, and it's 20? I mean, yeah, like, mechanically, this is a simple game. But the timing isn't free. Well, though, I got pretty consistent at it. Back when I was, you know, during, like, the actual uh, LP of the series. So, yeah, like, at the time, I knew the timing pretty well. I lost it because of the ravages of time. So, you know, even if, like, yeah. So I'll get it back. I'm sure of it, but, you know. I might just have a little bit more trouble with this game for a little bit until I get there, because, yeah, like, I'm only halfway there, you know? It's halfway is halfway. Accurate. Uh, grapes are grapes and sky is sky, too, you know, in, ca in case there was any confusions. Alright, now it's getting kind of fast, it's getting kind of silly. Yeah. Like, at this point, like, it's basically gambling, almost. Can I do it on my first try? Probably not. I mean, no, probably not. Don't get... Don't get happy yet. You are forbidden from getting happy and net... Happy net. I had it on my first try. Look at that, in spite of a kind of a bad start, too. I did it exactly 20. Press the button time! What if you want to transform to a pig? I remember trying... No, Ninja Vision. Oh, it's Ninja. That one's easy. Ninja Vision. Here's the deal. The ninja can create holograms. How many do you see? Yeah, and you gotta select like a menu, like you're in school or something. All right, count! That's three. I can count to three. Whoa, 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 whoa! Count! That's four. I can count to four. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's one to three. That tree did not come out of that guy. Don't matter. I don't think I ever saw a level three out of those. That was pretty fun. It was hanging out. Peripheral vision. Uh, that's two. Two is two is like two for two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's three. No guy in the tree. When there's three, they're in guys in the tree. That might, not, might not possible. Like, that might not always be the case, though. I don't assume these kind of things. Do so you think they're always in the same, like, the numbers are the same in every levels all the time? Because I wonder if at some point there's gonna be a day where I'm gonna lose a life or something because I knew the answer, but I reflexively, like, picked the wrong uh, option. It might happen. I mean, that's going to be more likely than miscounting, because I, like, counting these numbers is pretty easy. Like, it's just, look, man, the human brain, I think up to, up to three, it doesn't need to count for sure. That I know. Uh, I think four, too. Like, the brain just doesn't need to, to think or count. It just sees. It sees, that's two. Like, it recognizes two as a unit. Three as a unit, that doesn't need counting. I think four also, and oh, I didn't press a button in time. That's what happened that time. That's funny. That's how I'm gonna lose. I'm, it's because I'm just gonna sit there. I'm not gonna press anything. That is. Okay, see, there I moved to five, but no, I wanted to three, but I went too fast. Yeah, so hey, it's, it turns out it going fast makes this a little bit harder. Because, yeah, like, you have to physically go to the thing. So you have to know your menu. Oh, that was four, right? Yeah. You know what? That went all right. We did some games. We played together. Did I lose any one of these? I don't... Well, I did this one. So there you go. That answers my question.